In this video, how to update BIOS on Ashrock motherboards. First, you need to know the model of your motherboard and the current BIOS version. You can check it from either Windows or BIOS setup page. To access the BIOS setup page, restart your computer and press the delete key or F2 key repeatedly. In the BIOS, you can check the motherboard model, BIOS version, and release date. Once you know the exact model of your motherboard, go online and download the BIOS update. Visit the Ashrock website and use the search bar to find your motherboard model. Click on Download button. Select BIOS button. Download the latest BIOS update based on the release date. Extract the downloaded file. Now, plug in USB device into the computer then format it with FAT32 file system format. Now, copy the extracted BIOS update file to the USB device. Restart your computer and access the BIOS setup page again. Go to the Tool tab and select Instant Flash. If you're using BitLocker, please suspend it first then click Continue. The Instant Flash will search all FAT32 partitions to find the update file automatically. Select the file then update the BIOS. It could take a while to complete. Once the update is complete, Restart your computer. As you can see, the BIOS has been updated to the latest version. Additionally, on Windows, you can use the CPU-Z app to get more information of your BIOS. The second way, if you don't have a USB device, you can update the BIOS from Windows without a USB stick. First, Open the Disk Management tool in Windows. Shrink an existing partition to create a new one for the BIOS update. You only need a small partition, such as 100 megabytes. Create a new volume from the unallocated space and set the file system to FAT32. Once the partition is ready, copy the BIOS update file into the newly created partition. Restart your computer and access the BIOS setup page again. 
Then update the BIOS using the instant flash. The instant flash will search all FAT32 partitions to find the update file automatically. The update process will take a few minutes. Please be patient. You no longer need the small FAT32 partition, so you can delete it in Windows. Finally, extend the original partition to reclaim the unallocated space.